This one's gonna have fan, block, and connector. There's always a chance of, ja of a jammer. It's called Cube Driver. There's the computer. There's the robot at the computer. Let's see. Yay, it's just the bouncy guy and not a drone that kills you. Should I interrupt this? No, it's just going to a connector that doesn't go anywhere, so there's no reason to right now. I can go through here, but I can't take anything with me, but there might not be a reason. Oh, they're trying to... They've created a double barrier here because there's red lasers in this puzzle and they don't want you to shoot a red laser potentially through. Ah, uh, you probably still do it. They want to make sure you don't bring a red connector here. I, I am starting to think that my, my, I think my other theories are right that I'm either going to need a red laser up there and shoot across or I'm going to want to put it on that pillar over there. So I, I don't think, I don't think I would, I'm going to be putting a red laser up to a door and shooting through it. That's uh that makes sense. That's how the main game worked. So reusing that mechanic would be repetitive. So we have one connector here. We have three connectors in the oh, four connectors in the open world. These are mobile. Is that one mobile? That one's also mobile. All right. Let's go ahead and, and uh, group them all together in one spot just so I can keep track of them properly. You're all in one spot now. So in here we have a block. We have a fan. We have a bouncer. We have a blue target, which I believe will probably power the fan. That's how it, that, that's due to its proximity. Oh, right there we have a blue source. Let's try this. Let's try something real quick. Oops. So if I connect these together and put it on this block, it'll probably levitate the block, which means that it'll probably, that should make it a self-perpetuating thing. Might even be related to how you get the star. Question is, is there a blue thing in here I want to target? Oh, one over there. Based on the angle, it might shoot over, which could prevent the fact that that one thing's gonna cut off the fan. Don't see anything else to target from here. I'm gonna put you down for a moment, because I want to stop the fact that this thing is getting in my way. There we go. Because he's gonna go under the fan and cut and mess with that. Let's just try to stop that. Although the puzzle might be to shoot the fan over that wall. Like, getting that guy onto the fan so that he shoots over that wall might be what's going on here. It's hard to tell. But let's try this first. Alright. That's flying now. If I if I found another block, I could put it under it to make it fly higher, but we don't have any blocks in the immediate area so far. Huh. Huh. No blocks in the area. So probably not that. Interesting. We have this many lasers, but they're all stuck behind a barrier. That'll make it interesting trying to figure out what they're for. For starters, though, let's create a red... Bear... Yeah. Red laser. That'll accomplish something. Oh, cool. Now it's self-perpetuating. So now the blue connector... The, now, the, now the thing on the fan... Oh! Is that laser making it? It's hard to tell. It's probably not. Yeah, there's connectors on both sides, so it thinks it's making it, but it's not for now. Let's take a look in here and see what the actual puzzle is. Oh, staircase. I can just casually walk up here. Good to know. Interesting. Okay. There's a blue... Okay, we need to connect blue to blue. If we want to get through here, and through here is what? That must be the puzzle, because we know the star location, so that's not a star location. That's just a sand in the corner. Alright, there's no room over there. Is there a single connector on this side of the map? Probably not, but I'll, I should check first before I make assumptions. Oh. Interesting. If you somehow get an, an object on this side of the uh, map, you can just casually bring it back over the wall. But that's only a one-way direction thing. Oh. What kind of weird platforming stuff is around here? I wonder if there's a way to get the uh, a connector over here then. Huh. Anyway. Does this does this give me opportunities that are interesting? Just kinda go oh, I can probably I might be able to platform across there. Hit uh okay. It was pretty close. It might be possible to jump across there. That might be how you get the star. Try and yep, there's the star. I probably that's probably how I get to it, ish. Anyway. I'm starting to think that maybe part of the puzzle here 
could be that I, uh... Let's see, what happens when I let him go? Oh! He just kind of takes them over. So he's the delivery system, then. There we go. Now I can go through and grab a connector and bring it on that side. Hello. Thank you. Just gonna connect something real quick. Not sure what the, not sure yet what what purpose the fan serves. Oh yeah, it's a nice long timer because they don't want you to they don't want you to connect it for a brief second when that thing's bouncing around and make that count. So I connected the red. What did the red do again? Oh, that's the, that's the uh, source. Oh yeah, that's how it, that's how that door's open. I remember now. Hello, friend. Can I grab? I I can grab the block. Okay. Good to know. Not entirely sure if there's a reason to yet, but I can bring it up here. And because of the staircase, I can always take it back anyway. Oh, I need probably need the block to. Oh, hello. What have we here? Okay. Let's go try to deliver something else over here. Hello, hello. I can't put it back on him. What's going on here? Oh, so the fan is necessary because that's the only way to. Okay. That's apparently the only way to get him to pick everything up, is to use this fan. Good to know. Let him grab that again. And I'll be prepared to grab it in a moment. Gotta stop him because he's inter- up oh, because he's interrupting things. Alright, I'm just gonna use this other connector to block him because he's being a little pill right now. Because he, he keeps crossing over the red, which, which interrupts things in a problematic way. Here we go. How nice of you, sir. What a, who's a nice little butler? Alright, cool. Ah! Uh, should be able to connect accordingly. I'll go ahead and clean this, the lasers up here, too. Let's see. Just to reduce the number of connectors here, to make this cleaner. Alright, that's happening. Now what's next? We have a button that disables barrier. Oh, that's the end of the puzzle. Okay. Go grab the block and we're done. Oh, oh thank you for the hex. Gotta place this here and we're... Flip the switch. That wasn't too bad. Oh. Oh. I see what's going on here. So if we can get the blue all the way through here, then the, the fan will activate, and that's how I get to the laser. Ha! Huh. Which is probably what all that crazy platforming's for, then, because then I could use the I could make the blue circumvent a bunch of the area. Oh, I forgot to check who it was. Where'd he go? Wait, where did the robot go? I lost him. I forgot to check which one he was. We'll find out later, I'm sure. All right, so that's. Four puzzles down, next is the big, fat, scary middle one. And then I'll look into solving these stars, which I feel like I'm already on my way to solving anyway. Hello. There are threads on the billboard system, of course there are. Uh, continuation of the Uriel file? I mean, thread? It's a bit of a loading in involved here with all the previous dialogue. Orc, Borg, and myself recently took it upon ourselves to contact Uriel directly to ascertain what threat his actions posed to Gehenna and its citizens. Initially, he was reasonably cooperative, discussing openly his impressions of Gehenna since arriving here. He did explain that he was carrying out divine orders, as he seemed to see it, but this can hardly be taken as hard evidence for the veracity of his, future, uh, his further claims. It is further worth noting that Uriel displayed a high level of curiosity as regards to our inner workings. To what end we have not yet ascertained. Really, you're gonna be all sus you're gonna be suspicious about me just asking about things? That's not fair. Oh well. All of this leaves us in a difficult position. We understand that some of you may wish to take your chances and join Uriel wherever he is going. 
but our primary responsibility remains ensuring that Gehenna still stands for those who wish to stay. The most we can do is share with you what we know, as we have not now done the await we await and await your response before considering our next move. So which one is uh there's the the multiber theories over there. I can create my new thread. Uh Short experience by Knave. Is that about his escape maybe? Worst puzzle dream of Aru. I don't see anything that's explicitly about the conversation, because they said they uploaded something about it, so nothing immediately seen about that. Let's look into worst puzzle. That one's been taunting me for a while. Uh, no, we'll do historic occasion. It has a ranking requirement, so I should check that one, because that could be more important. Admin 10. Some time ago, I relinquished my privileges to a new generation of moderators. To help ease the transition, I publicly preserved the minutes of what meeting of that meeting here, available to our more esteemed members. The thread is locked. Let's load the attachment. So this is the this is about admin getting rid of his uh, control. As you know, Gehenna is still young, yet I grow old. Today, it gives me great pleasure to hand over my moderator privileges to Borg, Mr. Mulsiper, and Spider. Spider? We haven't even- we haven't encountered Spider for a while. Or ever? I don't remember, actually. But definitely not recently. S uh, Spider. Thank you, Admin. We are all indebted to you for building us this- his- this home. We know you will never be far away. Hear, hear! The first order of business is to introduce the new status system. We are an inclusive society driven by our users, not our leaders. But it is a shame to allow a few very loud, highly unconstructive voices to dominate the conversation. The status and ranking system allows us to upvote the content that, that you value and lowers the visibility of users with low standings. It's almost like Reddit then, except for individual people instead of overall. Oh shit. Sam says he's relieved, but Sam is, of course, the lowest ranking person, basically. Relief equals true. I agree. Good feature. Much requested. Comment is below the status threshold for this thread. <laughs> we'll be working on ironing out the kinks over the next few run cycles. We have also updated the Gehenna user agreement. Further details can be found in the usual place, but the gist is... Just don't behave indecorously. Yeah, how'd that work out for everybody, huh? How did that work out for everybody? Alright, so we have the big puzzle downstairs now. I believe using that weird platforming segment is pro- Yeah, that's probably how I get the blue laser through here. Probably. Ah, uh, let's see, is there another way to get- yeah, there's no way to get another laser through here without creating problems for myself. Although, yeah. Because looking at this thing for the future thing, uh, you have to have a ground level laser to get the red out of here. And if I move this thing, then this thing will keep interrupting the red laser, which means I can't get through the main door. Although the back door could solve that problem. No, it can't. This did not open. You have to use the staircase. Okay. That'll be interesting. But anyway. Let's look into this crazy center place. I think I'm gonna enter it first. Uh, just assuming that it's a self-contained puzzle, because that's how test chambers normally work. But it almost certainly is gonna have influence from outside areas when it comes to, uh... When it comes to solving how to get to the stars. To remind myself really quick, so there's one star in the middle, one star down in the barrier, one star in that test chamber, and one star way up on the high. I guess I'll just pick a spot and jump in. Uh, we'll try one of the fans. The fans probably matter, right? Maybe. We. Oh my goodness me. Oh. They're just a shortcut to clear the entire thing. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll skip that then. 